In the Carolina Kitchen today, if you love the interplay of sweet and savory, today's recipe will satisfy you. This time, ice cream is a new take on an old favorite dessert. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Stephen Goff, the owner of King James Public House, is here with us. And boy, oh boy, is he making something from scratch that most of us at home love, especially in the spring and summer. What are you making? I'm making some homemade ice cream. That sounds amazing. Is it easy? It is really easy. It's actually really, really easy. Uh, as long we'll as you see. have one of these. But so right here, I have nine eggs and five egg yolks in this container. Take those. Nine eggs and five yolks. Okay. Mhm. Mm about the same as mayonnaise. Uh, one cup of sugar. Four cups of sugar. So that makes five cups of sugar. Okay. The amount of sugar makes a difference. Uh, this base recipe is, is something good to go, go with that's on the website. Five cups of sugar, nine eggs, five yolks. If you have too much sugar, it won't freeze. So today I chose to do thyme ice cream just because it's something we do at the restaurant. We serve floats with thyme ice cream. Uh, oh, yum. So you get it all nice and together, huh? pretty much. You want to bring your cream up to the boil. And what do you have in the cream now? How much cream? I have one quart of cream and one quart of milk. You can't do all cream because cream has too much fat. And so when you spit it in the ice cream machine, it'll turn into butter. And you just put some fresh thyme in there and let sure. it infuse the flavor. Mm -hmm. Normally I bring it to the boil, turn it off and steep. But uh, today we're just going to go straight in. It'll get enough thyme flavor. You can go through a regular old sieve. I'm going through a chinois just because that's what I have at the restaurant. Again, we're going to go in slow. So we don't scramble the eggs. Smell a little bit of the thyme. Mm -hmm, it smells great. I and I would have never thought of putting thyme in ice cream, but I actually think I love that combination. So once you get about halfway, you can just dump her all in. Okay. I do about a pinch of salt. I'd say maybe a tablespoon for this. We would go back into our pot. back onto our heat. I usually go about a medium heat. So if you bring it back up, you bring it up to about 180. Basically, a good, a good way to look at it is if you touch it and it's too hot to keep your finger in, it's probably done. Okay. And then it goes into the ice cream machine. Yep. Well, then you chill it. You, you take it off and then you, you make it cold. Then you put it in the ice cream machine. We have homemade ice cream. That sounds like a great recipe for you to do with the kids this spring and summer. Let's get you guys it. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. And check us out on Pinterest, Time Ice Cream. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.